What is your biggest concern coming out of the audit on the transportation of dangerous goods? We identified important areas for improvement in 2011, and many have yet to be addressed. For example, we found that Transport Canada still did not always follow up on violations to ensure that companies addressed them. Also, the department did not grant final approval to some companies' emergency response assistance plans. These activities are important to help prevent releases of dangerous goods and to mitigate the effects on human health and the environment. What was an important improvement made since the last audit? We found that since our last audit, the Canada Energy Regulator improved its follow-up activities to ensure that regulated pipeline companies took corrective actions to address violations. Last year, you conducted a review of how departments were implementing their sustainable development strategies, and you found they were not able to show a connection between their actions and the targets for achieving the federal goal. Has any progress been made on this front? This year, we found that actions reported by federal departments and agencies supported the federal strategy's goal of safe and healthy communities. However, the reporting was not always clear or complete, and that makes it difficult to get a sense of the overall progress towards Canada's sustainable development goals.